For some people, four square walls and a white picket fence just don't cut it. From the Flintstone House in California to a guitar-shaped home in Georgia and even a psychedelic artist's retreat in New Jersey, these crazy homes go to the extremes of architectural possibilities. Up next, we visit Bulbous Dome House in Florida. This green, curvy home is nestled on the banks of a lovely creek in Clark Fork, Idaho. Laid on the grass mere feet from the water, the property has the appearance of a mythical sea creature that has accidentally found its way ashore. Formed from three rotund domes, the mysterious and magical house is certainly one you won't find anywhere else. The house was built in 1999, and from above, you can really see the unique layout of the place. The one 286 square foot home was formed using concrete and wire, allowing for an organic and rustic finish. Inside, you'll find a characterful floor plan with plenty of unusual nooks and oddly shaped rooms. A long tunnel leads inside to where an open plan living room and kitchen can be found. The biggest dome houses three bedrooms and a single bathroom. The middle dome features two bedrooms and one bathroom, and the smallest has a petite bedroom and bathroom. Every single element of the house has been handcrafted, including the kitchen cabinets, closets, and built-ins. The house has no electricity, but since the domes were made from six-inch thick concrete walls with a layer of insulation and a waterproof membrane, the interior has an ambient temperature all year round. The property was first listed for sale in August 2008 for $240,000, but after a year with no bites, it was removed from the market. Since then, the house has been listed and delisted countless times, without securing a buyer. Up next, we visit the Barrel House in South Carolina. Big, bulging, and brilliant in every way, this one-of-a-kind house finds itself on the edge of Lake Bowen in Inman, South Carolina. The barrel-like home was constructed in 1977 and appears to have been inflated like a giant balloon. Sadly, the listing doesn't explain why the property has such a unique shape or the story behind how it came to be. On the market via Leslie Horn and Associates, for $650,000, the robust roundhouse seems to be in the midst of an interior renovation, but the current owners have decided to wave goodbye midway through the project. The ultimate opportunity for someone seeking a unique house they can put their own stamp on, this bulbous building offers plenty of potential. Inside, there's 2,000 square feet of space, which includes a rounded living room, a dining area, kitchen, three bedrooms, and three bathrooms. Some of the rooms even benefit from retro design details from the 70s, such as exposed brick walls and wood paneled ceilings. There are plenty of unusual modern features too, including custom windows of every shape. As well as its surreal exterior and fixer upper interior, the house also boasts a large garden with 73 feet of water frontage. There's also a dock and a floating patio. Up next, we visit the treasure house. Over in Terlingua, Texas, you'll find a custom built home like no other. From a distance, the property, which was constructed in 2000, appears to be an average residence created using colorful pebbles. Yet take a few steps closer and suddenly something else entirely will come into view. Along with an array of colorful and rugged stones, the exterior of the property also harbors plenty of hidden objects. From vintage cameras to old guns, agate gemstones, crystals, bottles, rotary phones, and even fossils, the facade is a treasure trove of trinkets and artifacts. Everywhere you turn, there's something to see, the listing agent Sky Ferris told Realtor. A game of I Spy would be really fun. Just when you thought the bizarre building couldn't get any more, well, bizarre, check out the odd interior. As soon as you step through the front door, you'll instantly spot a swing, suspended in the middle of the living room. The modest 1,300 square foot pad has been handcrafted, so many of the rooms feature rough exposed stone, poorly plastered walls, and stained glass windows. There's a hand-built kitchen, an all-pebble bathroom, and a rather unique master bedroom that has a distinctive medieval feel. Despite being rather old-fashioned, the pad does benefit from some modern touches. In fact, it's highly eco-friendly and offers solar power and its own water source. The peculiar property hit the market back in July 2021 for $370,000, but rather unsurprisingly, it struggled to sell. The price was later dropped before the listing was removed altogether. Up next, we visit the Flintstone House in California. Located in the town of Hillsboro, California, this otherworldly house has attracted a fair amount of controversy over the years. Constructed in 1977 by architect William Nicholson, 
The property was bought by media mogul Florence Fang in 2017, who turned the already unusual house into a treasure trove of quirky furnishings and ornaments. Resembling Fred and Wilma's Stone Age home from the popular cartoon The Flintstones, the surreal residence is made up of a series of large, rotund shapes painted in bright purple and red hues. The home's unusual curves were created using wire and shotcrete, a type of concrete that is sprayed through a hose. Fang added the large purple dome in 2017, which further enhanced the home's unusual visual finish. The iconic bubble house hit the headlines numerous times when Fang became wrapped up in a legal battle with the town of Hillsborough. Lawyers representing the upmarket community argued that the house was an eyesore after Fang painted the exterior from its original white shade. Of course, the home's interior is just as strange. Its rugged, rounded walls create a cave-like atmosphere, while its colorful decorations include Flintstone motifs, dolls, and naive-style modern artworks. Other unusual additions include Jerusalem stone floor tiles, curved backlit alcoves, sunken furnishings, and a kitchen that resembles a spaceship. To make matters worse, Fang chose to decorate the backyard with giant dinosaur statues, which her neighbors took a great disliking to. It's really no wonder this property has been hailed one of the weirdest in the world. Up next, we travel to the Haynes Shoe House. America is home to some truly fascinating roadside attractions, but the Haynes Shoe House in York, Pennsylvania might just be the most bizarre of them all. The weird and wonderful home was constructed by eccentric millionaire and footwear tycoon Malin Haynes in 1948. The self-made businessman was well known for his odd advertisement campaigns but this 25-foot-tall shoe-shaped property might just be his most outlandish. To create the three-dimensional billboard, Haynes constructed a wood frame with wire lath coated in cement stucco. Inspired by a high-topped work shoe, the home spans 48 feet in length and 17 feet at its widest part. Decorated with tiny stained glass windows, the inside is cozy, bespoke, and totally befitting of an eccentric millionaire. Inside, there are five floors, complete with a living room, kitchen, three bedrooms, and two bathrooms. Haynes originally opened the property as an unusual holiday home and even allowed newlyweds to stay in the house for free, according to Hellam Township, where the property is located. After exchanging hands many times over the years, the property is now a popular roadside attraction for people passing along Route 30. In fact, the home has become so iconic that it's fittingly located on Shoehouse Road. Up next, we visit the Darth Vader House in Houston. By far, one of the world's most surreal homes, this property hit the real estate market in 2021 for a cool $4.3 million, but it was more than its price tag that caused a stir. Aptly nicknamed Darth Vader House, the dramatic residence has the appearance of a Sith's helmet, although the original owner was reportedly aiming for an aviation-inspired design. But it's not just the home's facade that boasts plenty of personality. Despite being an unintentional superfan shrine, the house attracted Star Wars enthusiasts from across the country and finally sold in November 2021 for around $3.1 million. Built in 1992, the house features around 7,000 square feet of interior space made up of multi-level living spaces decorated with walls of glass, concrete, and stone. The centerpiece of the home is a sunken conversation pit framed by a dual staircase. Although the front of the house gives the impression of a dark and mysterious residence, the interior is actually pretty light and inviting, thanks to its abundant glazing. While the floors are made from hand-cut concrete and stone, the walls were painted to resemble granite or marble. The Space Age home comes equipped with four bedrooms and five bathrooms, as well as a large kitchen, dining room, and a glass office. Every room is decorated with a sophisticated monochrome color palette and statement furnishings. Outside, there's even a balcony overlooking the swimming pool. Up next, we visit the Sand Dollar House in Texas. With its unique mushroom-like form, Sand Dollar House was designed by John Covert Watson, who studied under one of America's greatest architects, Frank Lloyd Wright. Undeniably unique, some believe the property was inspired by the Guggenheim Museum in New York City, which Wright was working on at the time, and it isn't hard to see the resemblance. With its white rotund exterior and organic shape, this dazzling residence definitely reminds us of the iconic art gallery. Despite its similarity to the Guggenheim, the house was actually inspired by sand dollars, a type of sea urchin, an important piece of organic modern architecture. Sand Dollar House was completed in 1979 using a mix of steel and gunite, spanning 2,240 square feet 
The round home has three bedrooms and two bathrooms, as well as light-filled living spaces. Inside, you'll find stunning living spaces, kitted out with floor-to-ceiling sliding doors, teardrop-shaped skylights, and gorgeous beehive fireplaces. The spacious kitchen cantilevers over the water, while a beautiful custom spiral staircase leads to the heart of the home. Many of the rooms spill out onto exterior patios and suspended decks, which gradually wind down towards the water and offer unobstructed views across Lake Travis. Over the years, Sand Dollar House has been listed for sale numerous times for as much as $2.2 million and as little as $900,000. In 2020, it hit the market again and finally sold in January 2021 for $1.8 million. If this house is wrong, then we don't want to be right. Up next, we go to Gillette Castle. From the outside, this rustic castle looks fairly ordinary, but step inside and things begin to get slightly stranger. Located atop the Seven Sisters above the Connecticut River, Gillette Castle was built in 1914 by notable actor, director, and playwright William Hooker Gillette, famous for his portrayal of Sherlock Holmes in 1916. Sitting inside a 184-acre estate, the magnificent mansion was inspired by medieval architecture, but was constructed using steel and local fieldstone. Gillette designed every inch of the eye-catching castle, including the interior furnishings. According to Connecticut's official state website, it took 20 men five years to complete the main structure, and Gillette checked every phase of the build, keen to create the perfect house. Outside, you'll find walking trails that meander through tunnels and feature near vertical steps, a three-mile narrow gauge railroad, and even a private train station known as Grand Central. Inside, the impressive property boasts 24 one-of-a-kind rooms, overflowing with quirky touches. Every room boasts incredible woodwork, created from hand-hewn southern white oak. There are 47 doors inside, and no two are the same. Each one boasts a unique latch, intricately carved from wood by five local artisans. Undeniably inspired by the complexities and flair of Sherlock Holmes himself, the property is entirely eccentric. The 14,000-square-foot mansion costs Gillette dollar $1.1 million. Inside, you'll find built-in couches, a movable table that sits on tracks and wooden light switches that were made to resemble the levers you find backstage at theaters. But that's not all. The house is also said to be filled with secret passageways, hidden doors, and clandestine rooms. Up next, we're gonna visit this unique castle. From the outside, the home is imposing and fantastical, resembling something from a Brothers Grimm fairy tale. Inside, you'll find 19,000 square feet of space, encompassing eight bedrooms, an entry hall, a bespoke kitchen, and endless formal living rooms kitted out with large stone fireplaces. Throughout the American castle, there are plenty of distinctive architectural touches too, such as inlaid floors, stained glass windows and doors formed from over 25 different hardwoods imported from around the world. While some consider this modern castle in Woodstock, Connecticut to be one of the world's oddest homes, others see it as a feat of engineering. Positioned on a prominent 75-acre estate, the mesmerizing house was built in 2010 by Christopher Mark, an entrepreneur and figurine creator with a unique sense of style. The home's wow factor facade features a moat and 126-foot towers. Other curious design choices include hand-painted statement ceilings, suits of armor, a dungeon, and a glass observation tower. Elsewhere, you'll find a luxurious basement that spans 5,000 square feet, a raised stage and auditorium, a staff apartment, and numerous outdoor decks equipped with radiant floors, which keeps them snow-free in the winter. The kitchen is one of the home's most unusual spaces, thanks to its rotund fixtures, dark cabinetry, and eccentric cloud motif ceiling. In November 2021, this American castle hit the property market for a cool $35 million, and despite not securing a buyer, in January 2022, it received a price hike to $60 million. But as of yet, the quirky home has struggled to secure a buyer. Up next, we go to the Pickle Barrel House. As unique as it is adorable, Pickle Barrel House can be found in Grand Marais, Michigan, and is undoubtedly one of America's quirkiest roadside attractions. The weird and wonderful building was originally built in 1926 by the Pioneer Cooperage Company as a summer home for cartoonist William Donahue. Donahue created the Chicago Tribune's popular teeny weeny cartoon strip and even drew advertisements for pickle vendors, Reed Murdoch and Company, who just so happened to sell their product in a small-scale version of the Pickle Barrel House. Quirky and characterful, the tiny cabin once sat next to Sable Lake, but in 1937 it was moved to Grand Marais, 
and placed on the corner of Lake Avenue and Randolph Street, where it can be found today. The characterful cottage comes equipped with a living room, a kitchen, a pantry, and a bedroom spread across two floors. After it was a celebrity holiday home, the property became a visitor information center for the town, as well as an ice cream stand and gift shop. In 2003, the Historical Society purchased the building, restoring it to its original condition. Today, the Bazaar building operates as a museum and was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2004. So if you're passing Pickle Barrel House, stop by to soak up its unique design and cozy 1920s interior. Up next, we go to Luna Park in New Jersey. Luna Park is the home of American multimedia artist Ricky Boscarino, who designed every inch of the property himself. Located within a sprawling eight-acre wood in the Sandyston Township, New Jersey, the residence was inspired by the Hundertwasser House in Vienna, Austria, and Gaudí's Park Well in Barcelona, Spain. Ricky began transforming the property in 1989. When he first bought the Quirky House, it was an entirely ordinary 600-square-foot cabin. Over the last three decades, Ricky has dedicated his life to creating a whimsical fairy tale home almost 10 times its original size using a variety of media, including metal, clay, glass, wood, and cement. He often shares his creativity on Instagram. While the exterior of the home is loud and colorful, decorated with characterful faces and giant mosaic artworks, the interior is reminiscent of a fairy tale castle with porthole windows, cozy reading nooks, handmade furnishings, and hand-carved statues. No matter your thoughts on the property, it's clear a lot of time, care, and love went into building it. Now open to the public, the 5,000 square foot building houses, thousands of absurd and exotic artifacts for visitors to discover. The unique home comprises living quarters, a museum, and a workshop, which is generally open on select weekends throughout the year, although guests must book a timed reservation slot. How's that for unique? Up next, we visit the Guitar House in Georgia. We know what you're thinking. What's weird about this rather unassuming home? Well, the property appears completely normal from the outside. That is, however, until you take a look at the floor plan. That's right. The house is shaped like a guitar, but for good reason. The property was designed by country music star Elvis Carden back in 1986. What better way to celebrate his career than by building a house shaped like his favorite instrument? Complete with a curving body, long fretboard, and a headstock, the roof even features a bridge and a faux sound hole formed from a circular skylight. The pad was Carden's home for many years, but it also acted as his muse. In fact, one of Carden's most famous songs was called Living in an Old Guitar. As soon as you head inside, though, you discover the 3,500 square foot home is pretty stunning. Thanks to its unusual shape, every room benefits from quirky alcoves, curving walls, and curious architectural touches. The unusual celebrity home has an open plan living room with a compact kitchen, five bedrooms, and four bathrooms. Since Cardin's ownership, the house has been fully renovated and is now light-filled, modern, and chic. Other highlights include the pad's two in-law suites, one can be found in the basement, and its lovely period fixtures, think original wood plank floors and 10 inch ceiling beams. Love it or hate it, you can't deny the amount of thought that went into the construction of this weird and wonderful home. If you fancy owning it for yourself, then it's currently up for grabs for $790,000. All right, everyone, I think that's gonna wrap this video up. Like I mentioned in the beginning, follow all my social media, and also 50% of the people who watch me don't subscribe. So just, if you're watching, just click the subscribe button. It's free, it means a lot. And then an alternative option would be to become a member, which costs a couple dollars, but then, you know, I'll be calling you guys, FaceTiming you guys. You get cool badges, you get exclusive videos. Um, I'll be making videos that I can't show, like public channel. So you guys get a ton of cool features and by clicking here and becoming a member. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video i love you guys thank you for the constant support feel free to share this video on anything and i'll see you in the next video later